Hello everybody and welcome back and today we have kind of a cool little thing that I've stumbled upon if you any of you are the users of the Technic pack you may have noticed that in the launcher there's a new mod option and that new mod option is I will show you real quick if I can I'll just log out here real quick and show you if you don't notice I'm on my new Mac here which is extremely exciting this is the first video I'm actually doing on it, so we'll have to see if it hopefully turns out all, all right. But here we go. This is the launcher for the Technic, Technic launcher. And here you see we have hack slash mine. Now this is a new one. Here's, you know, you have your Technic, your Techit, blah, blah, blah. And this is the one we're going to be trying. And basically what it does is it kind of gives you an RPG element, I guess you could say, too. Minecraft. So you choose a class. You can be a mage, a warrior, archer, I think are the three. And basically as you go around there's dungeons that you fight, there's new mobs that you fight, everything has health. As you level up you become stronger, etc. And it's actually a whole lot of fun. And so I thought as a little break maybe from the parkour I'm gonna do a little of this. And I think maybe I'll do it over time. You know, every once in a while, I'll start, you know, first I'll do a mage, because I always start with a mage. Always, always, but I think I'll maybe go through as far as I can with each one, or maybe until I find kind of a ending point with each, but we'll see how it goes. So we're just go hack slash, whoa, hack slash mine, mage. All right, so I'm going survival, world options, we'll put magic in, why not? Generate big dungeons, huh? Yes, please. May include huge leg spikes. Well, we'll see what happens. All right, so I'm going to go ahead, go in, and just generate a new world. And I'm pretty sure it's all just based off of the normal Minecraft generator. It'll just add in basically towers. And actually, I found one dungeon that like goes down, but I didn't actually go in it because I wanted to save that. So, all right, here we are. I want to be a mage. Thank you. All right, so right off the bat, you can see there's a couple things. We have mobs already spawned. Up in the right, top right here, we have a mini map. It says I'm on R level one. Not quite sure what that means, but whatever. Prairie of Ages. Now you can see my health bar has been replaced with a health bar, but of 100%. And I also have mana. Now these things I'm holding, obviously here I have the uh, you know, basic tools they kind of give you to start start off with but I also have this and I'm also gonna make sure just to be sure and this right here if you see I'll get to all this in just a second project projectile dot firebolt so if I right click with this magic wand <gasps> fire beautiful and now it took me a while to figure out what these are but these are actually kinda secondary spells that I can have so there's no actually like crouching in this game because you see when I do this I have these secondary spells, so this first one is teleport, so I can do a little bit of teleporting. Can't go super far, but, and you can see that's using my mana. Second's a fireball. I'm pretty sure it's just a stronger fireball. Seven damage, and hey, well, that did six damage, so five, four, I don't know. Not quite sure about that one. Uh, this one, the third one is kind of a, you know, multiple firing one <laughs> now I'm gonna skip this one quick the last one here is a gust of wind quite useful for me let's see I already have a zombie here hey <gasps> dire chicken how dare you well guess what here is our fourth ability so I'm gonna go ahead I'm gonna throw him back and I'm gonna get ready oh <laughs> boom so this really this adds a whole lot of kind of you know fun gameplay to this and I'm extremely happy with this so far. Now you can see my experience bar is down there. I'm level one. And obviously, as I gain experience, I will grow in levels. Uh, this right here is my inventory. It's just kind of split up into a couple different things. Crafting here. Armor. You can see you can get kind of extra little trinkets and stuff. I have a slime sneaking up on me. Get out of here. All right. And here's some. You see they drop loot, which is awesome. So I've already got a thingy. And here's all my stats. And this, I'm not actually sure, this is where you upgrade your stats, but I'm not sure what all this is yet. 
I've just played for maybe about an hour with the mage just to kind of get a feel for it. So hopefully we're going to figure that all out together. And I think first thing I'm going to do is come over to this village and just see if it has anything different about it. And I'm going to do a little bit of kind of grinding on my way over. Do what I can. Get a little experience running before we find a um, dungeon of any kind. I'm looking right there. It looks like there might be a little something. So we'll, we'll do a little teleporting around. Quite nice for just for kind of getting around. There's chickens everywhere. Stay away from me, chickens. More over here. Aha, see this is one of those things I was talking about. So I think I'll go down there first, actually. Ah, and there's one of the towers I was talking about. Hey. Oh my goodness, I got a lot on them. Alright, let's try this. Get out of here. Ha! <laughs> I love that. Very effective, and one thing I think they're going to need to fix, but that they haven't yet, is that can actually be used, like, inside. So it's a little overpowered, but it does also take a pretty big chunk. Chunk of mana, so... Kind of use at your own risk. You can hurt yourself with it if you do it too close. Uh, the wands don't take up very much. I can kind of just spam it, and you can see I'm doing pretty good on mana here. All right. There we go, grab up all my experience. Now you can see I'm level 2 now, and it's kind of binging at me, and that is telling me I can upgrade. So I'm going to go in here, and I'm. it doesn't show me what these are, but I'm assuming strength, agility, dexterity, uh, intelligence, wisdom, something? I don't know. Or not dex... Well, maybe it is dexterity. I'm not sure. Get off of me, chicken. I kill you. But as a mage, I think I'm just going to be play it safe here, and I'm going to upgrade those. All right. Now, let's see if we can't get a little adventuring on. There's two towers here. No, but where was that? Where was the down area? Is it right here? Huh. Where'd it go? Now, I can sprint a lot. As far as I found, there isn't any any food per se so I'm not worried about that you actually ooh these things are creepy here's what I was looking for anyways these are like creeper caterpillar things I don't like them and they're fast so you gotta be careful with them but let's take one. <laughs> oh my goodness get out of here whoo that was close so I'm still kinda trying to get used to the uh, the secondary spells when you hold shift but, you know, I think I'm liking them. After yeah, I kind of worked at it a little bit. Now, yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and go down. I don't have any torches, but I think for now that'll be okay. <laughs> I can steal torches from down here. But basically, these are areas where there will be spawners and, at the end of them, loot. Now, if I haven't been in one of these underground ones, like I said, the other ones, the towers, you just go straight up, basically. So I don't really know exactly what to expect here. Okay, get away from me got an arrow now even though I am a mage I can still use like whoa bow and arrow and swords and stuff like that you know in case I run out of mana I'm gonna grab one of you <laughs> now, it doesn't totally stop them to do this but I'm just gonna slow them down a little bit and see if I can't mine this away I, and I leveled up come on there we go get out of here So, like I said, I think what I'm going to plan on doing is just kind of doing a run-through of each class, kind of as far as I can go. Oh, hey, look at my map. It actually shows, like, a map. Ooh, this is, that's nice. A lot of arrows. All right. That was a pretty good find already. Ooh, a rat. Yuck. Now, it almost looks like we have maybe two dungeons, like, overlapping in here. Like, this part right here seems weird, how it's, like, laid out like this. Let's go this way. I'm thinking, oh my, oh, never mind. I thought that was, like, a whole floor of, like, spawners. That would have been a pain. It's creepy in here. There's two of them here, though. Let's get rid of you guys if we can. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, I forgot I leveled up. I gotta upgrade myself. All right. 
There's another chest. Wow, these things must be loaded because there's another chest here. The towers only seem to have a chest at the very top of them. So maybe these are a little, a little more rare to find. Redstone torches. Go get our experience. And let's upgrade real quick. So you can see here I have six unspent points. So I'm going to go wisdom, 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 whatever, like this. Maybe one in D. I'm not sure if D is dexterity or defense. <laughs> so I could use defense, though. So I'm going to go ahead and assume. Now, there, are, yeah, you see that there were kind of some lighting glitches. But as I get close enough to them, they seem to kind of go away. Uh, this stuff, I can't mine. Nope, I guess I can mine this one. The towers, you can't really mine out. Just because they don't want you just cheating and going to the top of them, basically. Ooh, there's lava here. That's going to be dangerous. The zombies know where I'm at. Alright. That's... Gotta be careful of the zombies. I don't want to fall down. Hello, you. Attack it from the top so nothing will spawn on me while I'm going down there. At least we hope. I'm not sure how easily things spawn here. I assume they spawn a little more often, but I'm not really sure. You guys don't seem to be able to fit through here. But let's kind of take you out anyways. I'm not... I don't want to deal with you too much. Oh! Oh! Oh no! Oh no! Um, crap, crap. I have nowhere to go. Um, uh-huh. Uh -huh. What am I supposed to get on there? Get on. <gasps> oh, man. That would have been a short series there. Stoops. <sighs> okay, I need to. <laughs> I need to dig out a couple of these and make a little stairway here. I'm afraid to dig out ones like this one right above me. See, I can't sneak, and that's kind of kind of throwing me off, but let's get rid of this spawner quick so I don't have to deal with you, as long as I'm down here. Okay, um, I don't... <sighs> this is bad. Bad, bad, bad. Um, put one there. Yeah, they're right above me. <laughs> All right, you... Can I take... I need one more block that I can take. Um, ooh. Ha, fall in the lava, you. Stupid thing. You're stupid. Ah, uh, did, did, uh, thank goodness I don't actually die right away. Get off! Yeah. My goodness, this is a lot, a lot harder than it was last time I played. Maybe it's a little early for me to be playing around in these dungeons. If I could shift, you know, like, what you call it, sneak, I could do a little better. Teleport will be nice on this, though. I can just kind of jump around a little bit. All right, you. Now, and there wasn't even, like, anything down there, I don't think. So, let's go ahead and just... Ow! I forgot. No, there's no shifting. No shifting. <laughs> yeah, so be warned of that, guys. No shift. No sneaking. All right, you. You guys deserve a lightning bolt. See, there I hurt myself. It was worth it, though. And then I leveled up, so I got all my life back, I guess. I don't know. I'm just kind of adding points here. Get out of there. Now, I'm not going to risk it jumping, so I'm just going to teleport across and get in here take you guys out now I, like I said I haven't got too far so I really I don't know kind of how far I can go you know like do things just kind of continuously get harder and harder or is there you know kind of a final boss type thing ah, some naga or whatever so yeah I'm not really sure how that oh hello creeper how that goes but I guess we'll find out, huh? This might end up being a long series, might end up being a short series. We'll see. I don't think I want to deal with going down. Okay. <laughs> I tried to shift again. I, you all get away. 
I found this spell is pretty good for for groups here, and it's nice to be able to I can kind of teleport out of areas like that. I'm okay with that. <laughs> I always I always enjoy the teleports. I don't know. Let's maybe take out this room, and then I think it might be a good time to end this first episode. I'm gonna kind of try and keep things around 15 minutes. I you know like I said I'm recording on uh, my new computer, and I'm not really sure not really sure how it's all going to kind of work out. So before I go, for, you know, recording for way too long, I want to kind of make sure I have things working how they're supposed to. Whoops. Make sure it's all 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 right before I go too far. Can't get up there with that. Hey, you get down there. Get off the thing. But yeah, so I'm going to take a break here real quick. I'm just around a little more than 15 minutes so far. And so I want to make sure all my audio and whatnot is okay. And I will be right back. <laughs> <laughs> 